Yes. And she asked about revolution. Much less strong. Much more wobbling. Now, Tom Paine is exactly about that difference. Just as the name of this conference, the name we chose for this conference is Reform and Revolution. Faced with a situation that's becoming more and more unequal, unfair, unjust, and intolerable, what are we going to do? And what pain, for me, what makes him stand out is the care that he takes to go right after that question. And the way I hear it is this. We now face, he says, about his time, more than enough evidence, decade upon decade, of accumulated outrages, injustices, attacks on our freedoms, our rights, and our security. In a sense, we've tried to address this one and that one, to work out an accommodation here, to get a reform over there. We've been there, and we've done it, and it hasn't worked. And we've got to face that. We can't make reforms most of the time because the power structure arrayed against us blocks us. But even worse, when occasionally we get a reform, that same power structure, having lost the effort to block it, now goes to work to undo it, to reverse it, and to go right back to where they were. Therefore, the conclusion pain reaches and tries to teach the American people then is the same one I think many of us want to teach now. You've got to change the system. Not because it's an alternative to being achieving reforms, but because changing the system is the only way to make a reform that's durable. Revolution is the way you complete the reform process, just as it's the condition for the reforms you get to last and to mean